Hello everyone, this is a, this is the Southern Hellenic on um, here on lovely Facebook. Not Facebook, sorry, YouTube. Oh, I'm not redoing the video. Um, so uh, today from the Angora, we're continuing our discussion about the Percy Jackson book, the first book, The uh, Lightning Thief. And so we're, I'm just basically just picking apart um, different characters, or not different characters, but like the gods, and especially in the realm of Percy Jackson, um, and all that. So, in today's video, I am going to be talking about the Oracle of Delphi. So, I hope all of you will enjoy um, the video, because I'm going to enjoy doing it. So, what exactly was the Oracle of Delphi? The Oracle of Delphi was a woman who was in, was, uh, was the person who gave prophecies to um, different um, people. So they would arrive at Delphi, they would go through all these different kinds of things that you had to do. Um, I believe I believe you did some rituals and you were brought before the Oracle and the Oracle would give you a prophecy which is supposed to be uh, very um, kind of um, not clear on exactly what um, what she meant. So uh, the Oracle of Delphi was a very important, um, very important figure in um, ancient Greece, and it was one of the things that was actually shut down when the church took over. Uh, of course, there is uh, talk that the vapors that allowed her to receive these prophecies dried up, and that was another reason that um, the oracle was no longer, in, well, no longer important. But we'll just take it as the church had a huge hand in it. So, in the Percy Jackson series... The Oracle of Delphi is actually a cursed body. So we find out later on in the series exactly why the Oracle is a withered, dead body, like a mummy. And, uh, and I will be going into that particular thing when we get to that particular book. But the Oracle of Delphi in the Percy Jackson uh, series is the oracle that you must go to before you go on any quest. The oracle also predicted the Great Prophecy, and which is supposed to be the child of the Big Three. And the thing about it is, is that the oracle in the Percy Jackson movies, or movie, uh, because we don't see her again after the first one, um, changed the wording. The actress who, who did, I think, did the voice for her, uh, they changed the wording of the Great Prophecy, but it was basically, um, that, uh, no, actually, take that back. We, we, we see her, okay, yeah, we don't see her in the first one, we uh, see her in the uh, second one, so sorry about that. Um, so, but the Oracle of Delphi would give these prophecies out, and they the heroes would go on the quest and all that. And her prophecies were somewhat clearer than they were in ancient times, but they were not like super, super, super clear because it was only towards the end of the uh, book that we actually discovered the who or the what or what not. Um, so it's only until later that the spirit of the oracle transfers to Rachel Dare and she has her own problems to deal with with that. Um, weird. But the Oracle of Delphi was 
was very important in ancient times. And she had such a uh, uh, a impression or a role uh, in ancient times that she was considered to be a uh, a, a um, what I want what I want to call it to the to the church. Um, so yeah, so uh, so the Oracle of Delphi in the Percy Jackson books still does the same role that she did in Delphi, but the uh, but what the hero has to do to actually um, actually uh, talk to her is different. All right, so I'm going to end it here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys around.